What is up, my beautiful Gemini's Rose Warrior? Here, going to be dishing out some tarot for you today. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, Gemini Rising. Or if Gemini energy is relevant in your experience or situation and it brought you here, there's some messages and insight for you. Before I begin, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rose. I'll be reading tarot for you. We're going to dish out general messages and then just see what spirit has for you. With that being said, take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a message for the entire collective of Gemini energy. So some messages are for a specific region of Gemini somewhere. And then there's some messages that are definitely for you. Spirit is telling me that for a good, good amount of you energetically, a majority or all of this reading could resonate. So let's begin. Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, Holy Spirit, please lead us to the truth. Guide us to the truth for Gemini. I've been doing some research on Gemini and just really want to dive in this energy more. So if this resonates and you would love for me to read more for Gemini here on my page, I got you. Spirit, what do we have here? All righty. Awesome. Beautiful. One more. For Gemini energy. Beautiful. I'm being called to read the bottom of the deck and it is four of wands. We have celebration. This is building a foundation that is long lasting. It is built off of creative endeavors. Uh, you could have a very creative skill that is very powerful and it can manifest and attract a lot of abundance. And this is stability of the home, stability of the empire that is at 144. So collective, we are definitely bringing in stability. And this year, Gemini, you are going to be celebrating having that ability to manifest a stable job, to manifest a stable life, to manifest from within of course happiness from within this could be coming in quickly or you could be getting some sort of communication a text message an email about a new opportunity that could be providing you with this stability here this is fire energy so gemini you could be moving very quickly in life right now or very busy my left hand is tingling and that means that there's a lot of energy you're holding spirit says release energy by meditating release energy by relaxing the mind learning how to breathe consciously realign your breath work here this is just what i'm picking up on i'm being called to pick up oracle soon so let's begin gemini we have you showing up here in your power this is queen of air queen of gemini here we've got queen of energy connection queen of spirit and form queen of adaptation you are very flexible very i just heard dexterity so there is a, a very versatile energy about you gemini could be speaking to a divine masculine gemini or a divine feminine but basically picking up on someone who is balanced with their energies at this time I'm picking up Gemini on a collective since I'm just reading for this brand new energy here. This is a collective of Geminis I'm touching up on who are realizing their status is important. You're realizing why you've always had an affinity to status, to position, to title. It's because you earned it and you are in that power now and you are attracting opportunities for jobs income, new creative ideas to flow towards you because you are understanding spiritually that you have an essence of commanding energy and the flow of it, how it works. Gemini represents the, the connectedness between energy, ideas, manifestation here. So you are definitely entering this new manifestation. You're realizing your power. You're realizing that your cerebral energy, your mind, your mental power here is infinite. You can truly manifest new doorways and new portals to walk through just by truly believing you're about to step through them. And that's what's happening here with the fool. Could be an Aries moon or an Aries rising. You could also have your Aries and Venus or Mercury here. But this is Aries energy with the full, a brand new beginning. And the Aries energy is guiding you here with the full to take the initiative, to take 
the step forward. The fool takes the leap. When everyone thinks you are the fool, you are really the wise one who trust, trusts within, trusts the self here. And you could have people tugging back at you to not take certain risks right now. And spirit is asking you to take these risks because it's not even about falling on your face or not even about taking a risk and succeeding. It's about demonstrating as a leader, Gemini. Yeah, I'm heavily being called to pull Oracle for you. It's about being called as a leader and showing others what being fearless looks like, what setting trends looks like. You are someone who is able to be in with the now and somehow still earn, naturally earn respect from older generations because of your ability to, I just heard compromise and your ability to bend. You have this ability to bend. I'm seeing with the full here, there's a bunch of, that's a perfect angle because you can see this sun shining on the full here, there's an abundance coming in for you and there's an aura about you. You just truly believe that you've earned your spot, that you've earned. I just heard that I've earned my right to be happy. Spirit said it, was, it, it wasn't ever about earning, but the fact that you even met your own standard because you learned so much so quickly it's almost as if you surprise spirit and your spirit guides. Like, wow, Gemini is really capable of leading and stepping forward into their manifestations on their own. I just lit the, de the deck at right action <sighs> and awakening. Whoa, I split the deck at right action and awakening, which is what? The Fool represents a brand new beginning, starting at zero. It's major arcana number zero. Wholeness, being filled with love, being filled with new ideas, allowing spirit to provide you with the pathways of interconnectedness and allowing spirit to download the necessary information so you can use your throat to speak your truths this this year especially and so you can speak your truth into existence so you can speak a new world into being Ooh, gemini you're powerful nine of pentacles this is capricorn taurus virgo energy you could have earth sign element energy in your system or your birth chart but nine of pentacles here queen of swords and the fool Look at that. Or shall I say, shoot, look at that. You are manifesting some sort of new journey here that you've walked through. You've put your foot down, Gemini, for many, many years, for many, many weeks, for many, many months. You cut off the necessary people, the necessary energies that you knew deep down in your heart, your intuition was crying for you to remove yourself and you did with the fool here you did you grab your shit <laughs> you're unique too you dress the way you motherfucking want to dress is what i'm picking up on you grab your shit grab your 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 makeup grab your phone grab your laptop <laughs> i just also saw a newspaper in my third eye something about a newspaper or a newspaper article but you grabbed your shit and you went on your merrily way away from anything that wasn't serving your highest good because you are becoming more aware gemini you are becoming more aware so you can use your voice to speak you're going to be a leader and a speaker and a voice of your generation here whoever i'm speaking to you could be very young or you could be just now awakening after generations of being told the same thing gemini nine of pentacles represents whoa that fell that's a lot of money there it represents Heavy bank, heavy cheddar. Nine of Pentacles is having more than enough. Nine of Pentacles is the ancestors finally being able to reach you through your connectedness to earth. You are also in some way, shape or form connected to earth very deeply. So you could be some type of a florist. 
you could work with animals, you could work or could have worked in your past at a farm. I'm just picking up on somebody who is very connected to animals because there is a small white dog here and a small bird. So we're picking up on a natural radiance you have and affinity with animals. They're very connected to you. One more spirit. This is your oracle pool before we end your reading, Gemini. Whoa, we had two more from spirit. Bottom of the deck is trust. This came out in my live. I went live earlier. Gemini and trust came out. We have a monarch here showing up. Monarchs travel. They have one of the most sophisticated routes of travel and the most long lasting, some of the most. When they migrate for safety, for more food, to heal, to create more offspring here. It's just what I'm picking up. So you could have an affinity with butterflies. I personally don't have an affinity with butterflies. This is how I know this is someone I'm picking up on. Gemini, you could have a beautiful picture or tattoo of a butterfly around you or on you. You could have a tattoo of a butterfly for sure. I see three flying beings here. So we've got a butterfly. We've got liberation, a dragonfly here. And we've got some sort of phoenix bird as well as also a butterfly wing on true offering. I'm just pointing this out because this is significant. Gemini, something about your evolution here. The dragonfly, the monarch, and the something about this bird reminding me of the phoenix here, true offering. It's all representative of the air element here and having the ability to grow your wings maturely and fly and truly move in the direction and the energy spirit is catering to you and carrying you to. I'm hearing follow the wind because the wind is your element. Follow the wind because you are it. You are how the wind connects from one space to the next, from one hemisphere to the next. You are the connectedness in between this. This may resonate with some of you may not, but spirit is definitely speaking to a Gemini out there. So I'm gonna pick up and channel here. It says the doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Liberation. Like I said, you're cutting yourself off from anything that doesn't serve you because you've truly grown. I say this all the time when the dragonfly comes up. It's maturity and it's state of adulthood only lasts for most species, at least six to seven months. This is just approximately from what I've studied, but dragonflies in their adulthood, they wait a very long time to mature before they actually grow into this state and mature, find a partner within those times, etc., etc. You know the rest. You know how the circle of life goes, the spirit says. But you are maturing and taking flight is what I just heard. So maturing will be the title name and taking flight will be your title name. You're maturing and taking flight. We have true offering. Spirit's calling me to read most of what we, we have here on the Oracle cards and then channel. So we have true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. You represent love, Gemini. Literally, in tarot, the lover's card is Gemini energy. It represents passion, the mixture, and the dual nature of masculine, feminine energy, of action and stillness, of connectedness and flow, of the above and the below energies here. You can take a situation that was unbearable. With this Aries energy, you could have a lot of people intimidated by your confidence. They're intimidated by your ability to walk on your own. They're intimidated by your ability to be a trendsetter. You really just embody authenticity, form. I just heard angle. So something about angle here. I'm getting Vogue, I'm getting Madonna, I'm getting Marilyn Monroe energy. That was one for Four, four on the duration clock here. So this is someone heavily protected for this celebration.
coming soon if you're not already already celebrating for some of you you probably will confirm with me if you're celebrating that this energy is manifesting in your life this isn't tarot to tell you what to do tell you that every single thing here is your next step this is to take what resonates and to use your healing process and your own practices and techniques of spiritual spiritual nature in, in general but divination to see the light codes yeah so spirit wants you to really clear so you're able to see in a, uh, in a, in a way of transparency and in a way where water carries you through and flow this is just what i'm picking up on these oracle cards always talk about the ego and how to use your situations whether they're deemed positive or negative you're always able to use them in the leveling up of the soul and the ascension here that you're incarnated here for we're all here serving a purpose and Gemini, your purpose is to speak, to innovate, to show connectedness, to show flow and form, to show manifestation in its purest, most lightheartedness essence. We have clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from my, my, mind to God's, 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 such freedom. So what this card says we're clearing we've got liberation true offering and clearing you're clearing your energy field you're clearing the closet you're clearing the desk you're clearing the table here gemini with this nine of pentacles and we have sanctity through offering even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament you're becoming one with the self and learning to turn water into wine here, turn, turning elements into celebrations, turning situations, whether they are in your favor or not, you're turning them into wisdom here. This is someone who is wise, someone who is clearing, taking away dense energy in order to allow creativity to flow in because when that creativity flows in your mind flows in through your heart gemini you represent that connectedness between the mind and the heart right like i said that connectedness between the mind and the heart this is six of cups reflection looking within for some of you even reviewing the past reflecting and reframing the past and what it means this is pisces cancer scorpio energy this is coming up under the queen of swords so you are definitely in this six of cups element energy where you are reflecting on the past reflecting on your past loves you could be reflecting on a love currently and just for some of you that are in a relationship emphasis on for some of you <laughs> that are in a relationship you're reflecting on the hardships. You're reflecting on communication, how far that has come, and how communication is so vital with your connections here. You've learned this. This is what I'm picking up with Six of Cups here. Six of Cups also represents revitalizing and harmonizing the emotions. And you have been healing because every single cup is filled with flowers high vibrational entities here, beings that are providing you with more flow, more vibration. We have Scorpio energy coming up under Aries energy. My hands have been shaking this whole time, so this tarot reading will allow you to embody what idea in your mind is to heal how you can it's unique for you all it will be unique to each gemini because you're also special and different so that's what i'm picking up on with this aries and scorpio energy here this is the number zero to the number 13. something about friday the 13th this month was significant for you mentally or spiritually you could have been going through a loss or you could be going through an ego death internally. I am picking up on mainly internal energy. 
the Scorpio energy with the death card is showing me that you're, and it also happens to be over clearing here too in the spread. It's showing me that you are ridding yourself from past life experiences too. I just heard past life. So you are moving forward in this new journey here as the Scorpio death card came up under Aries. You are moving forward after realizing that there were certain energies within that were transmuting here into gold, into a better life, into abundance. Ultimately, death is rebirth. But there was loss. There was struggle. There was pain here is what I'm picking up on. Gemini, you did come a long way and you're as powerful and as confident as you are because of what you've been through and because of what it's taught you and how that brought awakening. Beautiful. Last card here before we end the spread. Spirit, clarify this nine of pentacles for Gemini. Remember Gemini, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I was just called to read for Gemini. So I made sure to get all my air signs. I'm gonna get to Capricorn after this. If you have Capricorn placements, I got you. There you go. One more spirit, nine of pentacles. Whoa. All right, Gemini, we got your energy coming out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the air sign. Element with five of swords here. You are one-upping the competition here. We've got Capricorn energy showing up here. So interestingly enough, something about the Capricorn reading next will be very significant. It will, the Capricorn reading could show you how to break patterns. The Capricorn reading next can show you how to dive deep without judging yourself. How to accept that you have dark energies that are transmuting into intelligence, into something conscious from the subconscious. This is just what I'm picking up on because Scorpio represents that here. But the subconscious energy of Capricorn also is deep, also is an abyss worth diving into because when you come up, that was at 2222, two, 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 there is a sense of realignment. There is a sense of harmony when you understand as above, so below. So below as above, period. This is just what I'm picking up on, Gemini. Whoever I picked up on, you're deep, you're very intellectually driven, very smart very wise, you are discovering that you have this ability to fly and you're liberating yourself. With this five of swords, you one up your competition because your intentions are always in the right place. I mean, you're really in this space of healing. You're really in a space of clearing. Yeah, look at that. Through your swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. In reverse, meaning you are healing and breaking bondages, healing heartbreak. Some of you are healing a relationship that ended horribly. This could have you could have had a relationship that you thought was so mature, or someone who was so mature, end your relationship in a text message. Or in some sort of communication that seemed very middle school, high school, and it's just like, I thought we were more is what I just picked up on, but Spirit says, look, I just shuffled the whole deck and we still have three of swords show up in reverse. That's beautiful because you're healing. You're, you're changing from the three of swords that stabbed through you to strength of the mind, body, and spirit. Look at that cancer energy here, the subconscious mind. It's literally what we're picking up on. So you're being asked to clear the subconscious mind, listen to frequency music, stretch, because when you stretch, energy is released through the joints to the muscles. This is what I'm picking up on. This is what you need to hear for some of you. Take what resonates. Let's pull one more oracle card. I'm gonna pull from another oracle card here. With this five of swords energy, I am picking up on being careful with how people are moving around you because you are being provided with intellectual prowess, meaning you are upgrading in your ability to create and your ability to speak. People are realizing that you are becoming more powerful, Gemini. So make sure you are moving in a way that serves the soul with this death card as well. Make sure you're moving forward in a way that serves you as you are dying internally and renewing and reliving and 
coming to life every day. We are shedding and then becoming, shedding and becoming. It is the best way I can describe this interconnectedness that you have here. So we have the initiation and the crumbling. I see this card as both. There is a card that says initiation as well in this deck, but I see this card as both. It's the crumbling, but you are going through an initiation. And it may have seen this relationship, this friendship, this workspace, whatever situation here that that this card is representing that seems like this dark tower, it is being struck down because it was in the way of your heaven, of your unique heaven that's curated for you, the frequency that's meant to find you in this incarnation. You are reaching that, Gemini. This electric energy too I'm picking up on, there's something electric about you. And it is your protection here because there's electricity in every window as well. You are protected here. And even though things seem a little dark, they're being removed so you can find these, these beautiful meadows of abundance here is what I'm hearing. But it has been a journey. Let's not, let's not front. It has been a journey. Gemini, if you want another reading, this is my first, one of my first times reading for Gemini individually. I can continue to read for you, of course, Rose Warrior here. If you love this reading and it resonates and you would like either an all oracle or both oracle and tarot here, I do offer readings full time. I do this full time for the collective here. High Priestess Rose out. I love you. Email me below for all personals. Have a great day, Gemini.